Hi everyone, a quick little update on um, how I'm doing the door. So I've put those two braces there, one at the bottom and one at the top. And um, the plan is, the door's hidden. So you're gonna have a plank, oops, sorry. So you're gonna have planks running across there. Going all the way. there as well so it's all hidden and um, yeah it's not perfect but the door sorry I'm talking and not showing um, the door just opens inwards the main reason I wanted it inwards was because there's not much of a landing that's gonna be there so you can imagine going a step up into the shelter and then having to pop the door towards you it doesn't make sense um, just little things like that um, it's worth bearing in mind um, so yeah essentially that's it for today um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna keep it weather tight um, the plan is just to clad the front and then um, I'll maybe use some of these insulation boards that I've got over here to fill it in with. Um, yeah, that's it for now. But I still obviously need to sort out that water problem in the corner, which just isn't cool, is it? It's not cool, guys. Come on. Can't have a leaking shed. I might have a little check up there now actually. Okay, goodbye. Hi everyone. So there we have the um, concealed door. Oh. Opens inwards, obviously as I said, um, just makes it easier to access into the structure. And the brains behind the door is as ugly as that so trying to keep it as light as possible um, and I'll obviously board up this hollow side and that'll be inside and um, yeah that's kind of it I think bit of a nudge there when you close it all in all Not too bad.